amazes me every time I see it, even though I know it's going to be fine. But I found out what I was doing wrong, or missing. I, I was right. I knew there was a room I hadn't found, and it's one of those how-did-I-miss-it things. Should be... around here. There's apparently a second room that I missed in the main... or third room in the main hall. The short of it is, we have to find Susan's room. It's got the items I knew I needed in it. A shelf of self rock Obviously. Yes. Here we are. Second floor. Ooh, a comfy looking bed if ever I've seen one. It's nice to at last have a room with a bit of colour in it. Stuff. Nothing of real interest to a tough macho wizard like myself. Let's just take five, Rinswind. Forget it. Do you think they'd waste memory on animation of me sleeping? Haven't been there. Don't want to see that. Ah, a room with a view. Although what you'd want to gaze out at around here is utterly beyond me. That should be all we need. This room's transitions are poorly. How made. cute. A little bunny rabbit for putting pajamas in. A piece of string. One oh. a piece of string. One of the building blocks of our universe. Didn't look so far as to what we do with these, but. Back on screen. Wonder if Susan will take her. What shall I get in? No. I doubt whether she would find that exciting. Aww. Wonder if we can open it and take out the pajamas inside. I wonder what's inside. Ah, huh, there are pajamas inside. Good idea. But not just yet. Not just yet. Does that mean you'll use those as beekeeper thingy mer gear? Mostly because it's cloth. Well, that's not going to help me. Well, at least it isn't an undergarment this time. <laughs> those were smaller than I was expecting. Well, this should do the trick. 
I'm not sure why I was expecting them to be a, to be a big up, but. We used this on it in this time. I'll just sneak a little honey, they'll never notice. Can I get candles? I'll just grab some wax. Yep. Sinister black beeswax. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure that it's a commercially viable product, but still, it's very atmospheric. Rincewind, do you know how to make candles? Yes, we do. Now that's a sinister black candle. Should look good on a sinister black coffee table. And since this is now baited, I don't know why we want Skaz's undead ants, but I think we can probably get something out of the haystack with them. Mostly because of that bit in King's Quest where you do that. A pot full of ant souls. There must be at least 100 of the little blighters. see what lies within that haystack. All right, Ants. Now you really are grasping at straws. Is that thing there just to make terrible grasping at straws puns? We've got a candle now, so we should be able to get Susan her book. What, shall I get it? Right clicking on it by mistake. tablet isn't so much written in pictographs as bad stick figure drawings describing pictographs, meaning it's either a caveman's biography or a graphic novel. I suppose either one should do just fine. <laughs> it should satisfy Susan. Are you satisfied? Perfectly. This one's much better than yours. Here's the cart to play with. Let me know when you turn up in court. <laughs> what, you don't trust Rincewind's driving skills? By a process of elimination, I can only assume we are going to have Rincewind sit in the cart, thus alleviating his bad back. Well, he threshes some hay. Wheat. Oh, it's corn. I think it's corn. I don't think that would cut the corn. I've got a better idea. And this. Ow! My back! My aching back! 
Egoism together to give him the idea. I think I can wedge this in at the front. Uh, My special patented reaping machine. Did you do? Rinsweed, what did you do? Baking kind of guy. Oh, we can't see the corn, the corn skulls. Now well, let's go tell Albert we have cheated at every last one of his demands. Ha! An entire field of corn reaped. Yeah, I've got you trembling now, eh? I'm apocalypse material now. Oh, indeed, sir. You're gonna strike fear and trembling into blades of grass everywhere. Right. I've ridden the horse, got the clothes, the voice, the scythe, the moves. Nah, nah, hold on. Being deaf isn't like delivering the papers. No, no, no. I can't let you go out hacking and slaying wholesale until you've had a trial run. Start small, mister. Collect a hundred souls first. And then maybe you'll be ready to get out there and slay them. A hundred souls? Right now? Yep. Look, couldn't we, you know, just come to an arrangement? Come on, ten gold pieces as we just, you know, forget all about it and get on with the story. Bribery, eh? Trying to buy your way out of a quest? Where would we be if everyone tried that, eh? Fine, right. Well, let's go get one hundred lovely souls for Albert and the principle of complicated gaming, eh? Bye-bye, mister. Don't trip and decapitate yourself on the way out. Well, fortunately... No, ah! Oh, the patrician! The gentleman from the Assassin's Guild. Mm. Do please come in and abase yourself at the edge of the yellow line. Now, Come closer while I explain. Hmm, not that close, not that close. Oh, sorry. Now look, I want someone removed. A potential troublemaker. Somebody who's become too popular for his, or should I say, my good. And there has to be no way of connecting myself with his demise. Say no more, sir. Say no more. We shall strike like the subtle hand of doom, leaving nothing but weeping in our wake. For you see, we are the night. You are? I thought you were the Assassin's Guild. Ah, well, we are the Assassin's Guild, but we are also the Knight. So, in fact, you're that period of the diurnal rhythm defined by darkness, are you? So, nighttime thefts, muggings, murders, and overnight cart parking in restricted zones. We can just start billing the Assassin's Guild directly, can we? No more fussing about with tax collectors and fines. Uh, wh what? But, but just because we are the knight doesn't mean that we're responsible for the knight. Well, if you are it, then you have to control it. And if you control it, then you're responsible for it. This seems eminently sensible. I have a few thousand unpaid bills we can send your way by tomorrow. Uh, no, 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 no. N now look. All right. Um, we aren't ah the night, but we are of the night. Of. So we we are an integral part of the night, without assuming any controlling or otherwise responsible position. 
So, whereas we can assume custodianship of unpaid bills, this will only be as a, a, a storage facility, a favor to you, my lord, until we find someone who utterly encompasses all aspects of the night, whereupon we can pass the bills on to him. Oh, very well. So, in the meantime, just get on with this new job, huh? And don't mess it up like you did with the Fool's Guild last time. Well, the plot thickens. And is hilarious. That, that was like... I was trying not to laugh out loud at that. We do have a hundred souls, though. Look, Albert! Look! Oh! You found the commode! Well done! No, Albert, I mean, I've managed to collect a hundred souls. Oh, well, I suppose you must be death material after all. I should have guessed it from all your lines. Oh, all right. Go out and reap away to your little heart's content, but you've got to be back before the bell tolls. You know how the other three horsemen hate hanging about. Sometime later. Ah, there we are. And quite the part you look. There's a job for you. You're very first. Hmm. What's this? It's a lifetimer hourglass. It counts off the moments of its owner's life. As you can see, it's almost empty. Perhaps it's time for you to put down your milky tea and actually do some work. All right, all right. I'm going. Who does this hourglass belong to, then? Oh, you'll find out. I think you'll find him quite easy to spot in a crowd. Stop! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Death. 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 Oh! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's not good. Oh. So you heard that one, eh? Alas, 
poor death. I knew him, Horatio, a man of infinite jest. Well, not exactly infinite. I didn't think I was doing too badly. Um, maybe it's best not to quibble at this point in the proceedings. This is ridiculous. How can death die? The more like me you became, the more mortal I became. Sod it. I was just starting to get the hang of this. Oh dear, I really do think I'm fading. Maybe taking time off from my job wasn't such a good idea after all. Ah well, I suppose it's in good hands. Ta-ta, have fun being the Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper? What do you mean, Grim Reaper? Well, if I'm gone, then the job's yours. Through all eternity. But I can't be the Grim Reaper. I'll get queasy just squishing caterpillars on the baby lettuces. No, stop it. I don't want to be left holding the scythe. Nope. I'm slipping, I'm afraid. My time is running out. I wish I'd had a mother. Because if I'd had a mother, I could cry out, Mother! But I didn't, so I can't. Blast. Other famous last words are, Don't point that at me! And, Why is that red light flashing? And, How does Dibbler make a profit on this stuff at five groats a bottle? I know them all. Now, which one shall I use? Let me see now. All right, just stay there, and I'll try to get you on your feet again. Clearly we need to be more incompetent at being death, so he'll get more alive. Act 4. Till death us do part. Bone stock. Get his hat? No point. It's blown to shreds. Here, I'm sure that this hat must be in fashion somewhere, which is the scary aspect of the old wretched thing. I pick up some of the bones. Now I better leave his bones alone. At least until the men in white coats have chalked around them. Ooh, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, here I go! I'm still going, you know. All right, all right. Something to fill up your hourglass. I'm working on it. Honestly, you think nothing was done around here without me? Once, just once, I'd like to see an adventure based on Rinse Wind stays in bed and gets some kip while everyone else runs around and collects stupid objects on his behalf. Anything else we can do here, or just listen to Rincewind complain about the game logic? Honestly, since we need sand... Some birds do not give up. Sure, we can't just get sand, but maybe we can buy some from... Chilla Birded Deller. I'm in the mood for frogs. Ah, yeah, frogs are the things I've been thinking of. But they're so small and green, and they reign supreme in this crazy castle numbers house of love. Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, much better. Yes, yes. Ooh, I like this one. Quite right. Plenty enough to go around. How'd you cook it? Sage and onions. Sage and onions? In the middle of the desert? Oh, turmeric, rose water and onions then. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Whoops. Well, there goes Casanunda. I'd watch what happens next, but I'll probably be here for days. It was probably his best song ever. Oh, new NPC. He is 
not here. Yeah, clearly we just have to go rifle through his belongings then. of what would be the Far East if that direction existed here. Watch now as Yuri Jella manipulates the metal objects with the modern powers of his magnificent brain. Strain! Yes, Yuri, Strain. we've heard this all before. Strain! Oh, the end has fallen off. All right, so what do you do? Yuri Jella uses the power of... So does it work? How Trying to find... Oh, there's the Fountain of Youth comment. All right, what about these other mystic powers, then? We have their fabulous pyramid powers of... We have the mystic men sitting in desert... Oh, really? Is that all? You want more? Then we have the Fountain of Youth. Yes, indeed, you can get a second childhood without all the dribbling and unfortunate bad-type smells. Now, that sounds more like it. Where might I find that? Uh, I've forgotten. When they call your people fakers, they're not joking, are they? How dare you cast aspersions on my mighty powers of, um, uh, the, uh, uh, what's it called? It was on the tip of my tongue. Mine's gone blank. Um, oh, oh, uh, memory. There is a prospector what comes through here every now and again. He goes everywhere. He's been around for centuries. You ask him if he's ever seen a greater sage than Yuri Jella. Well, if he's been around for centuries, he's probably found the Fountain of Youth then. That's probably him that we missed. Popping humors. Behold the majesty of this tall stone pointy thing. Who knows its mystic secrets? Who cares? Not me for one. Let's see if going back in will make him reappear when we go to the left. Yes, there he is. Hey, look, a canteen. Well, it's wet, runs downhill, and you can see through it. Would you want a chemical analysis? Nah, thanks, I'm not. I doubt that adding water will make that grow. I better not fiddle with his camel. Let's 
follow him. He's vanished without a trace. I've got an idea, but that's going to have to wait until next time. So I'll see you all on what might be the last video, if I remember how the how the story flow goes. Later, everyone! <laughs>